Hi, my name is Sheena Joy, and today we're going to make a an autumn card. Um, I'm going to start off with a brown piece of paper, and it's cut to 11 inches by four and a quarter. So we use the Martha Stewart scoreboard right here, and score that at five and a half. I mentioned in my earlier video is to use good pressure and the reason is that paper can crack if it doesn't have a good nice score line. Okay, so that's score. Use my Martha Stewart bone folder to fold it. And you can see right here that there's actually an overlap here. Um, and that's because I didn't cut my paper to 11 inches now that I'm looking at it. So it actually is five and a half, but the paper was Just turn my ruler around here. It was 12 inches, so I'm going to cut off an inch and get out my Fiskars paper trimmer. So now we have our card base. I also cut two other pieces of paper. Um, this is the same um, brand of paper. These are both American Crafts, and this is a dark brown, and this is an orange. And I cut this one to be, um, let's just see, one, two, three, four, five, five and three eighths. This will fit just on the card front and show a little bit of a brown border. The pattern piece of paper, this paper is called Harvest Apples. It's by just Stemma is the name. This is the brand of the paper. So this one is cut to five and sorry five and a quarter. So we have these three pieces. I'm going to put them together. I don't like how that was placed, so I'm actually just going to keep it that way because it's really sticking. And this is just showing you too that even though you make mistakes, you can always fix them. And you see that when I put down the piece of paper, there's a larger orange border over here. All I'm going to do is trim this piece down. Okay, so this piece of paper, these two pieces of paper, the pattern paper, the harvest apples, is now adhered to the orange piece of paper. Okay, and I'm going to put this on top of this, but not yet because I'm going to work with this piece still. Now what I'm going to do is I have a piece of the brown cardstock and I have an orange piece right here. I'm going to see which one I like better for the width because I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here on the orange piece. So I think that one, oh, they both fit good. I actually like the bigger piece a bit better. All right. So I'm just going to Put a tiny bit of adhesive on the back of that strip of paper. Have it stick just a bit to the grid just so I can line up that sentiment. And I'm going to use this stamp set from Hero Arts and I see it's upside down. <laughs> 
and it's right here thank you for your friendship and because it's fall and Thanksgiving is in the fall and start thinking about what you're thankful for and I recently uh, rekindled my friendships with uh, friends of mine when I was growing up and I'm just really thankful for that so this is kind of a making this card with them in mind basically okay so I'll put it there and just line up your stamp on the grid so it's nice and straight use my Martha Stewart acrylic block Make sure it's lined up nicely. I'm using color block, or sorry, color box espresso pigment archival ink. And this is a really nice brown to use. And the falls, you think browns and oranges and deep reds and a bit of green, I guess. Still have a little bit of green from summer. But this brown, I'm kind of liberal with it because I just want nice, good coverage. And putting this to the side of the strip because I want to leave some space for um, a little decoration or embellishment if that's what you want to call it so not too much pressure you don't want to smear the letters it turned out perfectly thank you for your friendship okay so next I'm going to put that on the piece of uh, the brown strip of paper and the way I'm going to put that on is I'm going to use my tape runner so there we have our sentiment okay I'm going to bring that over and that's going to go here I also have these cute little owls to go on and I don't actually have the name of the company that puts these out I got these last year and I didn't end up using them so I'm going to use this little branch here with the owl on it um, I actually separated from the main sticker because I don't want this the look of this um, the shininess of the clear part of the st uh, sticker so what I did before I started the video is just removing the paper part of the sticker. And you can see it's stuck to this with foam adhesive and because um, I just want to make sure it's sticky and stays on the paper, I'm going to use glue and I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Glue. So just applying some glue, just very, this is a really good quality glue so you don't have to use a lot of it. I really like owls, I think owls are so cute. So just have this sentiment here just to get the placement of where I want to put the owl. And I think right here is nice place it here that looks really pretty and there were also some leaves um, on this sticker set and so I'm going to use some pop-up dimensionals all right Now I'm finding that kind of harsh in terms of, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to round these corners. 
it's kind of late to round the corners because I already adhered it so maybe I won't do that what I'll do is I have these strips of paper and I'm going to put on a scalloped edge so I have cut the strip of paper and I use the EK Success uh, paper edger it's a scallop scallop is what it's called and I wasn't sure whether I would use it on the top this is what it looks like on the top or on the bottom and I'm actually liking it on the bottom and the reason I like it is because it softens that you know how it has these two straight lines and I just want to give it a little bit of whimsy too and just make it softer overall so I'm going to adhere that okay so I really like how that looks now before I adhere this to the front of the card I'm going to put this piece of paper onto my card base and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use pop dots I'm using forever in time uh, pop dots so now I have put on all the dimensionals and you can say see I've used a lot of dimensionals <laughs> and that's because I wanted to stay even um, what I think I'm going to do in the future is buy strips rather than use like 30 <laughs> I don't know if I use 30 but I certainly used a lot okay so I have that on I'm already really loving it as you can see it's a side folding card okay so next I'm going to tie some Tim Holtz Baker's twine this is the package of Tim Holtz Baker's twine right here it's by ideology and uh, various colors I'm using the orange and white okay so now the Baker's twine is on there I can put the sentiment on and that glue has dried by now so I'm going to put that right here. I'm just going to place it there. I'm going to use um, dimensionals for that as well. So here I am with the card. Um, I have the little cute owl sticker on there and he's on a branch or she rather. She looks kind of female so and she's really cute. And I have my leaves. I have the sentiment on the pattern paper using pop dots. Uh, I use the scalloped uh, edge puncher to just accent the orange and also to soften the lines. I have my orange and white Tim Holtz Baker's twine. I'm going to use two of these sparkly orangish, orangey kind of brown. Uh, gemstone stickers so I am going to use glue because sometimes the adhesive behind stickers can uh, give out after a while and you don't want to make a card and then give it to someone and then <laughs> they open the envelope or have it for a day and the um, you know the embellishment falls off. So just put that there. And I'll use this one. It actually won't come off with the tweezers, so so just put that down. Use the tweezers. I like to use tweezers for placing objects like this on my cards because just have a bit more precision I mean obviously they're handmade and they're gonna have that handmade quality and that's a beautiful part of the card and on the other end of the scale is you want them to look professional so I'm really happy with the way this card turned out 
thank you for your friendship and like I said that's honoring the friendships that uh, I've rekindled lately with my childhood friends and really uh, happy it's fall and fall is my favorite time of the year so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this inspires you to make a card and leave a comment below subscribe to my channel hit like if you like the video okay and enjoy and have a great day